Right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. Today, due to popular request, we will be watching uh, and reacting to another Infant Annihilator song, and this one is called Unholy Grave Birth. Um, as I've mentioned in the previous video, which is right there, uh, I am familiar with Infant Annihilator. I used to listen to him quite a lot um, a number of years ago. However, I haven't listened to any of their more recent stuff. That's, I guess, what we're going to be doing with this channel from now on, is listening to Infant Annihilator and reacting to it. Anyway, guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave in the comments any bands you want me to uh, react to in the future. I don't know how to speak for some reason. But, in the meantime... Let's go. Okay, it's a very, very quiet start. Oh no. I hate that sound. Babies crying. Sounds horrible. Horrible. Oh, yeah. Right. As I said in the last video, these guys are absolutely phenomenal musicians. What you just heard there, with all the sweet picking and stuff on the guitars, is extremely difficult to master. So, yeah, that is that is proper impressive. The drums, again, very, very good. And that scream that I'm hearing right now is uh, a little bit, a little bit naughty. That might be the first time I've ever, I've ever heard Infant Annihilator do a standard 4-4 beat without putting loads of uh, double bass pedal in it. Yeah, that's cool. I uh, just want to bring up something. I know I talk a lot during my reactions, but I love talking about this kind of stuff. About 20 seconds ago, there was like a really, really long chain of double kick drums. It probably about 250, 260 BPM. Do you understand how difficult that is to do? Like, to actually keep that going really evenly. Now, I understand completely that the drums are likely triggered. And there's a possibility that the drums are also programmed in this song. It doesn't matter, man. I have seen Aaron Kitcher, not with, not in real life, but on, on YouTube and stuff, actually practice this kind of thing. You know, when he's hitting 300 BPM on the double kick drums. And doing it for a long, a long length of time. That is unbelievable skill. Like, it's crazy. So, props to him. Whether that's real or not, I have no idea. He can do it. I know he can do it. Right, another thing, I do really, really apologise. The scale that they just used was, uh, I think it's like a dominant Phrygian scale, which uh, I'm just going to double check that, hold on. Yeah, 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 dominant Phrygian scale. It sounds good, man. 
it sounds good, and it's nice to hear bands like this actually incorporate more kind of culturally rich sort of sounds and scales into their music. Um, I'm going to stop yapping and listen to the music. Oh yeah. The solo is insane. <laughs> that face <laughs> That sounds so good, man. That is probably my favourite Infinite Annihilator song so far. That, I really, really fucking enjoyed listening to that. Obviously, the video, there was no video to it. There was just a picture of the album artwork on it, which I must say is also exceptionally awesome. That music, though, I was really, really taken back by that. That was, that was awesome. I mean, I, I understand a lot of people who listen to that. My hair is all over the place. I understand a lot of people would hear that kind of music and think, I can't hear what's going on. I can't hear what is being sung. I can't hear what is being played on the drums or the guitar. However, with a little bit of uh, attention, and a little bit of experience in music, you can really pinpoint some of the most impressive parts of this kind of music. As I said, um, and I kind of come uh, at the end of the, uh, at the end of the song, I kind of came to the conclusion that the drums weren't programmed. They were actually being played live. They were being played with triggers, which if you don't know what triggers are, they're basically little kind of uh, vibration devices you stick to the drums. Um, basically, what they do is when you hit a drum, it sends a... Uh, the little trigger, it sends like a signal into the computer. However, that doesn't matter. It sounded awesome. It was ridiculous. The guitars and the, the composition of the, the kind of uh, solo lines as well. As I said, they were using like an Egyptian scale, which you don't really hear very often, man. Like, you might do in, in with bands like Nile or, or Necrophagist, for example, but it's so, so nice to hear it. They've done a phenomenal job. That was awesome. Uh, I would definitely give that a 9 out of 10. Yeah, no, sick. <laughs> really impressed by that anyway guys i'm gonna stop rambling because i know i ramble a lot hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you've got any more weird or wacky bands or even videos you want me to react to just link, leave a uh, blah, 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 blah. just comment in the description below and uh have a great day take it easy